In the southern Philippines, on the mountainous island of Mindanao, there is a small upland village called Bendum. Bendum is located within the upper catchment of the Pulangi River, the largest river of Mindanao, and within the ancestral areas of a Binukid speaking tribal group, generally referred to as Lumad, or people of the uplands. For generations, Lumad families have sustained themselves within the upland forests and have defined their cultural and spiritual values in relation to the natural living environment. We were the first family to come up here, and so it is unthinkable for me to go with my family to the city. I am not a professional, and I could not earn a salary. I would not be able to get money. I do not know how or where to work in order to earn money. I might end up as a beggar for money. I would prefer staying in the forest because we do not have to buy everything we eat. Here we do not buy firewood or water, but down there we have to buy firewood and water. If I went to the city, how would I be able to buy those things when I receive no salary? Even if I could receive a salary, with eight children and my husband, in all we are ten, how could we get enough money to buy those things? Our culture and the forest cannot be separated because our culture relates so much with the forest and the environment. The forest is connected with our life and our culture. It is where we get what we need. We will not abandon our culture, especially the sacred places. We highly value these places despite the difficulty of our situation ever since the time of our ancestors. Today, it is difficult because younger generations will look for easier ways while neglecting the traditional practices. But we, the parents, will continue in the traditional ways, especially in taking care of the farms, the Lumad practices, the forest, and other Lumad traditions. We are industrious, but our energy has limits. It's true we have been working hard ever since we were young, and until now, we have not seen many improvements in our lives. We are tired already. It would have been good if we could have seen improvements in our lives, but with all of our work, we can barely make ends meet. There is nothing left to sell, so we don't earn money because we don't sell anything. What we get from our work is only for our consumption, and sometimes that is not even enough. I want to improve that situation in such a way that we can eat and we can still get money because we have something left to sell. Living in the uplands, we take risks daily. The potential for sickness and for injury to make sure that we are constantly aware of our mortality. There is a reality of death that is here. We need to know how that wood splits in order to split it the right way and not ourselves. We need to know how that wood grows, where it grows, so that we can return to it for what we need. Bendom is a tiny village in the Pantaran range of Mindanao. Here are some of the last blocks of primary Dipterkarp and Almasiga forests. Here too are the Lumad who have lived with this forest for centuries. These people have seen the massive extraction of resources, particularly logging that has left their valleys bare.